busy people getting fit in Fulcher, Texas. Our aim is to help you look better, feel better, and perform better as quickly as possible. I'm your host, Brian White, with Blue Eagle Fitness and Nutrition. Welcome. Hey, what's up? I am here with Miss Lisa Moody, and we are having a great time. And the thing that you haven't figured out yet, you haven't seen it yet, but it will come when I make her turn her head, is that <laughs> she has these beautiful earrings. And that's going to give you a little hint about what we're talking about today. So, welcome. Thank you. So glad you're here. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, okay, so I actually met Lisa at a party uh, where she was uh, kind enough to pour me a glass of wine. And I was like, oh, I like her. I like, I like her. So, we're here to learn more about Lisa and more about her business and to get started. Uh, Lisa, just tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, so I am married. I have a husband and uh, we have two kids, five and two little boys. The boys. Little boys. And the two-year-old just turned two. Just turned two two days ago. <laughs> okay. Wow. We like the word no. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an instant thing. You turn two and there you go. I love it. I love it. And you have two dogs. Two dogs, yes. What kind of dogs? German short hair pointer and a mutt. What's it, what is a German short hair? A bird pointer? dog. A bird dog. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's a smaller dog. No, she's about 65, That's 70 not a pounds. Small dog. It's not a small dog. <laughs> okay. I grew up with bird dogs being much smaller. Yeah, there Maybe. are some. Okay. She's big. So between husband, uh, two boys, five, five and two, and two dogs... And what do y'all like to do for fun? We, we, hang, we out. hang out. You hang out. <laughs> we hang out. This is this is what Lisa does for fun. She hangs out. What does that look out. like? Oh, you know, with, with little boys, it is whatever. It is nonstop. It is painting. It is playing outside. Can we do this? Can we ride bikes? Can we jump on the trampoline? Can we anything? <laughs> we do everything. I love it. I love it. And you may hear some banging on the door. Apparently, someone in my house has let out my dog. I'm not sure why. And now my wife is chasing him around the kitchen table or the dining room table, which means that he has gotten somebody's sock. This is my life. This is my life. So that'll be fun. We're going to try to stay focused for this, though. So on the rare occasion that you get to go out uh, with your husband, what does a perfect date night look like to you? Oh, man. Um, so if I could do anything, 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 I would go to Napa. Shocking. Yeah. <laughs> Napa is amazing. Okay. Um, so I would go to Napa. They have amazing food. Yeah. Amazing wine. So that's what I would do. Okay. Just an all around perfect place. The weather's wonderful. <laughs> an all around perfect. Napa is an all around mm -hmm. perfect place. It is. That's Lisa Moody right there. <laughs> Okay, and then my last question uh, to get to know you a little bit better is if you're stuck on a deserted mm -hmm. island and you only get three things, okay, and you're going to have food and water, okay? okay? <laughs> so she was very concerned about that earlier. You can only take three things. What would they be? Well, um, I think I would take wine. Wow, <laughs> wine. I would probably... Any particular kind or bottle or... Um, can I only take one bottle? Well, no, you oh. can take a case. Yeah, let's say a case, okay. lifetime supply, but you only get one choice. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, well, if it's an island, then I'm going to assume that it's going to be hot. Okay. So probably I'll probably go a white wine. Okay. Um, maybe a Chardonnay. Maybe okay. Sauvignon Blanc. Let's go Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc. Let's go Sauvignon okay. Blanc today. Okay, there we go. <laughs> lifetime supply of Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah. That's one thing. What else? <laughs> Um, a wine opener. There we go. She's thinking ahead. <laughs> and then what's I'll the third open thing? That wine. Third thing, probably sunscreen. Sunscreen. <laughs> Love it. Because she's on this deserted island. <laughs> I don't um, want skin with cancer. Clean, clean. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we <laughs> take care of ourselves. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's awesome. So, okay. We've, we've kind of alluded to it already, but you were in the wine business. Yes. Tell us more about that. Okay. So, I am a, an independent wine consultant for Scout and Cellar. Um, which is a clean crafted wine company. They lab test every single wine two times during the process um, to make sure there are no synthetic pesticides, chemicals, added sugars, anything. Okay. Um, so it is just wine the way that nature intended it to be and it's 
absolutely wonderful. Okay. So if you're wondering why you're listening to a, a health related mm-hmm. podcast and I'm sitting here uh, with Lisa from now you're from Scout and Cellar. I'm a, yeah, I'm a consultant. You, okay. With Scout and Cellar. Um, it is because we've and we, my family, we've been drinking Scout and Cellar since basically we met you. Mm-hmm. So two years ago ish. Um, and it's, it is basically the cleanest wine um, that you can find. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. So clean crafted is a term that is trademarked by Scout and Cellar. Okay. Um, it's more than your certified organic. Um, it's more than sustainable farming. Um, it's the most rigorous test there is right now or certification that there is okay. for wine. Very cool. Mm-hmm. Very cool. How long have you been doing that? I've been with them for about almost four years. Four years. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, and you seem to be pretty great at your job. Thank you. So what <laughs> do you know what makes you so great at what you do? Um, well, I think it probably boils down to I'm very passionate about I would the wine. Say that, <laughs> if you were like, no, I don't really know. I was going to say you are passionate. You are passionate about clean wine. Yes, I absolutely love the concept. I love the company. I love their values, everything about it. I love sharing it, most importantly. Uh, my favorite thing is to have tastings. Yes. That's where I met you. Yes. <laughs> and yeah, so that's probably... <laughs> Okay, and what made you get into this? Like, so four years ago, mm-hmm. what happened? Uh, um, so I was in Oklahoma at the time, and they, the okay. laws were just changing to where wine could be shipped in. Okay. Um, and so that means that Scout and Cellar was able to start having consultants in Oklahoma. And one of my neighbors was having a, a tasting, and um, she invited me and... I took one of my friends and we went to this tasting. She told me about the company, about the wine, and I tried the wines and I was completely sold. So at the end of the tasting, she said, would you like to order any wine? I was like, "Mm -mm, I want in. I want want in this company. (laughs) (laughs) How do I do that? (laughs) So I just jumped in immediately just because I just, I love it. Perfect. Love everything about it. Perfect. So where can, where can people find you? Um, so I have a website. It's scoutandseller.com slash Lisa Moody. Okay. Or my phone number. I I text or call. My number is 918-694-5387. Okay. And the website is scoutandseller.com slash Lisa, L-I-S-A, Moody, M-O-O-D-Y. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. So scoutandseller.com slash Lisa Moody. Uh, or your phone number is 918-694-5387. I mean, I wasn't going to remember. Yeah, that. I was going to be impressed. <laughs> no, I lived in Oklahoma for a few years, so I, the, the 918 I had that. going for me, the rest, I, I wasn't. I was I wasn't, impressed with no, the 918. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, you have a very low bar, and I like that about you. I like that about you. Anybody? Yeah, they can... <laughs> That's good. That's good. Okay. So you obviously, uh, you look amazing. You stay in mm-hmm. shape. What, what do you do now that we can get more into what maybe a health side? Yeah. Uh, Cause yeah. while Scout and Cellar sells a, the, a healthy wine, mm-hmm. we probably don't want to be drinking that like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. No. Um, so, so let's talk <laughs> about the other aspects of health. Um, what do you, what do you do to work out? Um, so I don't do your typical workout right now with two young children, um, working (laughs) full time. So my workouts look like any sort of activity that I can get. So I rollerblade when when the boys are outside riding their bikes or playing. I rollerblade sometimes without them. I go rollerblade. (laughs) Okay. Great. Great. Um, we jump on the trampoline, you know, Cooper goes to jump on the trampoline. He said, mommy, we jump on the trampoline with me. I'm like, oh, yes, I should probably do that. <laughs> so, and probably one of my favorite things is when I brush my teeth, I will okay. either do squats or do lunges across the bathroom. Like just anything I can get. I love it. Just move. You know, I think, I think we might have a few people who are encouraged to uh, rollerblade and jump on the trampoline with the kids. I don't think you're going to have a lot of people doing lunges across their house while, while brushing their teeth. I would highly recommend that. that right? That's two solid minutes <laughs> of 
That is a good point. That is, so you have the electronic. You have the electronic too. I do. Yeah. So every thirty seconds, it's telling you a little yes. buzz that you know you're you're <laughs> making your way. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Well, thank you so much uh, for being on. We really enjoyed learning more about you, learning more about Scott and Seller, um, and hope you have a great weekend. Thank you so much for having me. You're very I appreciate welcome. Appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. You can get every episode of Busy People Getting Fit wherever you listen to your podcasts or on YouTube. You can also reach us at busypeoplegettingfit.com. Until next time, thank you for listening.